California, the world's fifth largest economy, relocks down. What does this mean for the rest of the country? That and some more in a minute. If you are in need of developing your own economy, what I want you to do is go below and get 30 days to 2500 the hustler's mindset pimping your mind for success get that so you can start building your own economy all right as i talked about about four months ago a lot of the things i said are starting to happen i felt that we were going to enter into a phase of opening and reclosing and here we are California is relocking down the whole state. Now, what you're going to see from this point on, you're going to see the GOP president and Senate push for a reopening. Now, looking at it today with all of the data that we now have that we didn't have before, I personally feel that we should have never shut down because of what's happening now. If we were going to shut down and give everyone a $2,000 per month stimulus check and just ride this thing out, I think we would have been cool. However, this is America. This is how we get down. This is the things that we do. So since that was never going to happen, I feel that we should never shut down because what we're about to experience going forward is what would have happened months ago versus happening now, if that makes sense. So what I feel is we're going to have a big, big push to open the economy, to get people back to work. And then it's just enter the Thunderdome. What these states are going to do is push it until it breaks. There will not be any probing or projections. No, no, no. We gonna try it. If it work, hallelujah. If it don't work, then we'll shut back down. So we're gonna get into a results-based economy. We're going to, because what's gonna happen is they're gonna keep pushing, and because this is the thing, the Rona isn't present everywhere the way that it was in New York. However, what is starting to happen in Georgia, Texas, Florida. Arizona cases are starting to explode. And that really makes sense because these are high population states, low population states. they are less people. People are more spread out. Like take Canada, you know, Canada goes from Seattle, from Washington, all the way to New York to the top of America. But Canada only has like 60 million citizens which is almost the equivalent of the population of California by itself. So they have a population that was widely spread out. It was easier for them to get a control of this thing. However, this is what we're going to see kids. We're going to see a lot of opening, reclosing and for businesses, this is going to wreak havoc because for the businesses that shut down, and they got the PP loan and they got money to stay in business and then they open up and the government's like, hey, you need to shut it down again. There's only so many times you can do that for a business. It's like we're done. We're out. So during this process of opening, shutting down, reopening, shutting down, people going back on unemployment, people coming off unemployment, you're going to see a very choppy, very violent, very crazy economy. It's going to be very, very unpredictable. It's going to be very unreliable. And also with the upcoming stimulus package, it's going to be smaller. Now, what's going to happen with the, the closings of the states and the reopening of the states and the smaller stimulus package? This is going to set the stage for massive stimulus in 2021. Make no mistake about it. The Rona is not going to disappear. The Rona, cause like the governor, you have the, the, the governor of Florida and the uh, GOP rep of Florida talking about Florida's fine. The governor was like, Hey, you know, we we're going to have all of these cases and it didn't happen. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. Now it's happening. Now they're like, Ooh, cause see one of the things that, uh, 
I'm beginning to understand is we don't understand a lot. What I believe this COVID-19 was a man-made disease. I believe, and it's impacting is the way that it impacts people is so crazy. Some people will get it and be asymptomatic. Some people will get it and barely have any symptoms. Some people will get it and be sick for two weeks. Some people will get it and be very sick. Some people will get it and be sick and die. Some people will get it and recover and have lingering health issues. I mean, it is so many outcomes for different patient populations. It's ridiculous. It's like some sinister disease because it's like you get it, roll the dice. What outcome are you going to get? It's not like you get the cold, you get sick, you get the sniffles. No, no, it, it doesn't have a defined projection or a trajectory per patient, which is one of the reasons I think this crap was man-made. And just get ready because I'm going to make a prediction. I feel that because the GOP Senate is going to get the blame for the smaller stimulus package, because understand, this is going to happen. The stimulus package will probably be voted and approved in August. And what's going to happen is the checks are going to come out August, September. And then we're going to enter into a phase where the kids go back to school. I feel that they're going to push really hard to get the kids back to school. And then when the kids start getting sick, and start having these crazy diseases and these crazy outcomes and they're going to shut the schools down and then this is going to create a boomerang effect for parents because parents are like oh man my kids to school i can go back to work then it's like who's going to watch the kids who's going to homeschool the kids it's going to be bananas and then you're going to see this all the way from daycare up to college right now if you google it the number of lsu alabama of Clemson players who are tested positive for the, the, the virus is, is going up. And what's gonna happen, and also, I'm a big sports fan, and I know that if you have a team like Alabama, like let's go back two years ago and say COVID happened two years ago, and Tua got, got it and got sick and missed two, three weeks. They would've lost games. They would've lost games if they had been playing certain opponents. So this is going to be a very impactful on the division one football level because if key players get sick that your team's going to lose games perhaps because also the other team's key players may be sick and it's just going to be crazy 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 what's going on and i feel that this is going to set the stage for the democrats to get the senate and the presidency and then 2021, we will still have the Rona. The Rona will still be here. And this will set the stage for probably the massive stimulus package in history. It's going to be the national deficit. We don't care. They're going to, the, the, the Fed's going to continue to do double monkey backflips all over the stock market. And Congress is going to approve probably a $6 trillion stimulus package for the states, cities, Amer I think the American public, you may actually see an additional stimulus package of $2,000 per month. And I would not be surprised if they reshut down the country again, put everyone on a $2,000 stimulus package for about six months to let the Rona go through the economy, go through the country and this is just me speculating based on the information I have of what's going to potentially happen in the future. Because be rest assured that the Rona will not be gone in the third quarter. It will not be gone in the fourth quarter. And that's what we're seeing in, I mean, the Rona, like Texas was like, we Texans, you don't tell us to stay home. And the governor was just like, hey, you know, we're going to do. And he had to, he had to slow his roll. The, the Texas governor who was like, ah, this is a joke. And Trump's wearing the mask. I mean, the Rona is for real. And half the country don't believe that it's real. And we're going to continue to see all of this because human behavior. You know, America has a population of 337 million people. And 160 million of those people think that the Rona is a hoax. They're having parties with someone at the party who's 
positive with the Rona and see if I get it and see if I die. It, 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 this is a dangerous, dangerous, dangerous game. This is just stupidity beyond stupidity. So what I feel is, you know, that once the Democrats get the Senate in the House and go ahead and put in a substantial prolonged stimulus package, because once again, what we have seen with the enhanced, un uh, enhanced unemployment benefit package, people got used to that money. And you will see people back in the streets rioting if they take this money away. I feel that that's what's going to happen. And they're going to take the money away because this is what's going to, once again, set the stage for the Democrats to get the Senate and to get the presidency is that people are going to feel economic pain. People are going to feel pain. And pain produces change because we've never in history have experienced anything like this before. So what, what we're going to be going through is that many diehard Republicans are going to be like, like you're a Republican, right? You're a Republican dude. You're married to your Republican wife. You got your little GOP kids and you've lost your job. You have, you're renting, you haven't paid rent in three months. And you know, the only thing that's keeping you afloat is this additional stimulus money. And all of a sudden you're going to vote Democrat because it's like, this hits home. This hits in my wallet. This, this is real. This is real life. And uh, you're going to see a lot of hardcore GOP people vote Democrat in this election because they know the Democrats are going to cut those checks. And right now, Many uh, people who have not believed in socialism, who have been living on this additional $2,600 per month on top of their state's unemployment benefits are like, hey, the socialism life ain't so bad. Give it another shot. So go ahead. So I feel that this is what's going to happen. 2021, we're going to see a, a, a massive, massive stimulus uh, program for the country. And we're going to see a more even cautious leadership dealing with the Rona. Cause like I said, the Rona isn't going to be gone third quarter. The Rona isn't going to be gone fourth quarter. And we're going to probably be dealing with the Rona for two or three years. So also I want to invite you if you need to, well, not there, you know, if you need to manage your money better and I'm going through the beta phase of ultimate money. Now, what I'm doing, I have a financial tune-up call where we get to talk about your finances, and I also will give you the ultimate money if you book that call as well as the call. So it's a way to get a lot more money for your bank, you know, more bang for your buck. Because right now, as bad as things are, you need to manage your money correctly. You need to set the stage for the future because the Rona will not be with us forever. I, I'm going on maybe two, three years. And then the things you do today can set you up to be wealthy in the future. So go ahead, book your financial tune-up call where we can talk about what you wanna do, your finances, and you can also get ultimate money as well. All right, this is Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather. That's all I got for you. All links are below. I will see you in this next video.